Hey, we're on Midnight Metropolis again, and this time I'm going to show you the treasure hunt that was on this map. It got solved in around two hours, so um, h 2 h one if you're doing this again, make it harder. I want to see the people really struggling, <laughs> because I thought this was also really cool, and in this video I'm going to show you the solution to the treasure hunt and where to find the Discord link. And first thing... Uh, you can still do the treasure hunt, by the way, so click away now if you want to do it, but let's get to the solution. First thing is you need to know that there is one, and one hint you can find at the end of the GPS down here. Huge thanks to Carpe Nostra for giving away one year of club access to whoever finds the hidden Discord code. Alright, I've looked for it myself and got stuck at like the second clue already. And there's also a few clues which uh, aren't really needed for the solution. So, first one being right here, under 20 in 3. I have no idea what that means and I also don't need that. So, if you know what that means, let me know. But the first hint is actually on the left here. Whoop. Going down this alleyway uh, here to the left. Small campfire here, pretty cool. Ah, look in the bottom left, fly into the tomato. And there are these cool shops around the track. There's also one with my name, very cool. And here is... Eh. Okay, can't see it, let's camp 7. Here is Squeaky Tomatoes shop, but it's closed. So I tried crashing into it, but nothing happened. So the actual solution is to fly into it with Cam 7 and you see not much here but a tomato on the ground. So let's try to fly into it. Aha! Hole in the 4! <laughs> Alright, so hole in the 4, what does that mean? Let's drive along and that, that hint I've actually figured out pretty quickly. Because in the end, there are some... Oh, uh, fuck. There are some garage doors, which are numbered. I thought maybe there's a hole in the fourth garage. And that's exactly it, so... Can't... Can't drive and talk. <laughs> okay, let's be honest, I can't drive. Okay, there it is. Number four is this one here, so it should be a hole, but I don't see one. And boom, you fall through fall through the floor. Okay, I flipped, so I have to do that again. Whoa. And let's try to get it this time. Now we have a bit of a maze. Luckily, I know where to go, but it still includes a tougher jump coming up so hopefully I can get it this try yeah. okay the jump is here to the right no I failed okay I'll cut to when I get it Ugh. Thank you. Okay, we've made it to the next hint. <laughs> two at two. So, um, two at two. Uh, the only hint we have is that at four was this garage, so probably something with the second garage. And the hint actually means two minutes so you have to drive into that garage after two minutes and did you see it it just gave us a small path camera of these arrows on the end here so let's check those out and it's not not much to see here but we're on invisible surface so gut reaction, maybe there's an invisible path here. And yes, there is. How cool is that? 
I really like this. And we can go up to this building and I thought maybe there's a, uh, an RPG way over several buildings. But no, it's um, shorter but also harder to spot. And there's only one hint here, which is these um, small garbage piles, which try to hint to you that we can drive through this wall. And now we're in the hidden room, Carpe Nostra, and you might think, oh, this is, this is, this is the end. Now we've got it. So driving over here, we get another screen, another camera panning over the finish telling us that the code is somewhere in that frame and we need to use cam 7 so all right let's cam 7 over there and i think it looked like this somehow so somewhere in this there is the code so first reaction from me would be to um Look at all the signs and i've tried that in the beginning as well but if you don't know where it is it's really hard to find and if i recall correctly it's in one of these signs so can you see it already very hard huh huh there it is Whew. That's the code. If you find that, you can now go to Discord, put in that code, and you would have joined the secret Discord server with the one year of Club Edition waiting for you. But yeah, it got solved in under two hours, but really cool idea here. And as I said, I hope Tim will do this again. I really like this. Um, yeah, that's all for today. See you next time. Goodbye.